it will be interesting to see where the what the People's Party does uh, on election night. The People's Party of Canada will not win the election, but one political expert says it might play a factor on who does. The party's popularity is on the rise and can play a factor in some tight races in Canada. We've seen Maxime Bernier come into Manitoba twice in the past uh, five months, and uh, um, once he was arrested. But he, he's come into to, to the province, and he's um, he's had fairly large rallies, and and you do see People's Party signs up across uh, different parts of southern Manitoba. Political analyst and University of Manitoba political science professor Christopher Adams says the PPC will be taking votes away from the Conservatives, especially within ridings in southern Manitoba. He says the spread of misinformation and vaccine talk has become a wedge issue. PPC has been really effective in, in playing up on this issue because they're rallying ant the anti-vaxxer uh, population. And we see that across Western Canada in Alberta and Saskatchewan, as well as Manitoba. Adam says the riding of Provence, which covers Manitoba's southeast corner, including areas like Steinbach, is a riding where vaccines play a major role. Incumbent Conservative Ted Falk recently walked back on some comments he made about the efficacy of the COVID-19 vaccine. We reached out to his campaign, but did not hear back. We also reached out to PPC candidate for Provence, Noel Gatron, for comment, but did not hear anything back. Liberal candidate for Provence, Trevor Kircheno, who has been the target of vandalism in recent weeks says he wants to capitalize on this issue. There's a lot of intensity on both sides. <laughs> I've met many people who are very frustrated and upset with the conservative incumbent Ted Falk because he will not say whether he's been vaccinated or not. He says he has spoken to a lot of undecided voters in the area and notes the topic of COVID-19 is prevalent. Some of these folks are being really thoughtful and they, they really want good, clear information from each of the parties and each of the candidates about where they stand. We're seeing polls over the past couple of weeks having the, the People's Party ranging from 6 up to 10 or 11 percent. And we don't even know if the polls are adequately capturing those people who are supporting PPC, because people who support that party have some similarities to the pro-Trump voters in the United States who are moderately resistant to polls. Adam says he will be following three highly contested ridings in Winnipeg on election night. Winnipeg South, Charleswood, St. James, Assiniboia, Headingley, and Winnipeg North. In Winnipeg, Alex Scarpa, City News.